Hello, hello. Um, right now I'm in the car. We are going to the hydroponic store near us. Um, I gotta get some soil and some nutrient solution. I'm gonna see if they have Super Thrive there. Um, and I'm gonna do some like window shopping for a grow tent because they have those there. So. Yeah. And I just have like a few, a good few plant chores to do. I have some grow lights coming in the mail today for my um, greenhouse cabinet. More on that later. I love my greenhouse cabinet, but it's been a little bit of a maintenance headache recently. So anyway, uh, light is at the end of the tunnel with that one because I have my new grow lights coming. I windexed the whole thing so that it looks pretty. And uh, yeah, hopefully soon. The plants in there will be thriving again. Hopefully soon. Got my soil. It's a really big bag. Um, I really like that store. I'd never been there before, um, but everyone who works there is really nice. I mean, as soon as they put their masks on, which in their defense, I was the first customer in the store they had just opened, but they weren't wearing their masks, which makes me anxious. But I did ask them very nicely to put a mask on and they were like, oh my God, yeah, no problem. So, okay, I feel a little bit better about that. So um, anyway, we had a nice conversation about soil and <laughs> fertilizers. They don't have Super Thrive there. Um, I wish they did, but that's okay. I mean, I got my soil, I got a new humidity meter just because I don't know, the ones that I got on Amazon were, I mean, they keep breaking. Like as soon as the humidity gets too high, they keep breaking. I'll show you when I get, like the, the display keeps breaking. I'll show you when I get home, but yeah. So I got a new one and um, hopefully this is gonna be better because this is meant to be in a grow tent. So it's meant to have like pretty high humidity around it. So hopefully this one will be better, more equipped for the job. So yeah, so I'm gonna go home, do some repotting, listen to some music, and smoke some plants. Somehow whenever I wear these shoes, I also wind up wearing a shirt that makes me look like my mother in the 90s. I'm not mad about it. My mom was cute in the 90s. Hey, I am home. I have most of the plants that I need to repot consolidated on the counter right now. Um, but there is one plant, which I will not be naming. It's a secret plant, recently legalized. Anyway, I have to, um, I have to put that into like a big pot so that I don't have to disturb it when it gets big and starts flowering yeah uh, that's what i was told to do by people who know much more about this stuff than i do
this? Um, this is a philodendron painted lady, um, prop, like wet stick propagation that decided to grow from both sides. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate them. Um, just cause I think the roots are established enough on like both of the growth points where I can do that now. And this one, the bigger of the two, I'm debating whether or not I want to pot this into a really tiny pot or if I want to hold off on that. I don't know. Yeah, I just changed my mind completely. I'm gonna not do anything with this yet. I'm gonna let it get more established. That's what I've decided. But this one, another faint, uh, fainted lady, another painted late prop. I'm gonna pop this up. Okay, so that's all I can do. I am realizing now that I have, I'm kind of short on terracotta pots, which I thought I had a ton of them. And I mean, I kind of do, but they're not the sizes that I need. So I'm gonna have to remedy that before I can do any more potting. Um, yeah, so next on my list is, um, regarding my greenhouse cabinet. Um, I have new grow lights coming. They should be delivered today. So I'm gonna set those up today. In here, I already windexed this and made it nice and pretty. Um, but I have to um, move a couple of the plants around. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. So this is the cabinet. Um, please excuse any of the struggling plants in here. <sighs> We're all doing our best. Um, yeah. And my grow lights for this cabinet have been broken for probably about two weeks. So that's a pretty long time for it to be getting minimal light. I mean, it gets some light from these two windows, but again, it. Not again, I haven't mentioned yet that it's winter, but I feel like I don't need to mention that it's winter. Anyway, it's winter, so less light coming from here. Need more light in here. I'll be remedying that today, but first I want to um, move some of the plants in here around. It's a little bit crowded in here. I didn't realize that was gonna be a problem when I set this up. I forgot that plants grow. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm going to have to, um, I think, do I want to take the alocasias out of here? Not really. But my humidity is kind of okay. I don't think I'm going to take the Maharani's out of here because I haven't had these for, you know, too long. And the care is, you know, I'm still learning. But um, I have a couple... <laughs> struggling black velvets in here there was a pretty bad spider mites infestation in here it was actually very bad um so we're still recovering from that i mean there's some pretty you can see some pretty significant spider mite damage on this leaf this poor fried egg anyway um i'm gonna keep these alocasias in here and then i'm gonna move these black velvets because honestly i don't freaking care anymore um and then this Anthurium clarinervium is going to go, it's going to get switched with this philodendron squamiferum. Um, I'm going to move this down here so that it can climb because I'm also getting rid of these little pouches for plants. I found that they were sort of useless, so I'm going to like cut them off and then I'm going to put more moss in place here so that I can have some climbing philodendron. I might add a Monstera Peru just to climb. 
Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and then the um, Anthurium clarinervium is gonna go up here. It's gonna have this whole thing to itself because I'm also going to do something with this alocasia fry deck. Yeah, I honestly might add it to the pot. I might, I might combine her with Big Mama over there. I might do that. That seems like a good idea. Yes. so far um I don't think it looks too bad this is what it looks like so far um I got rid of these two pouches here so now the black foam is exposed so I think I'm going to run out and get some more hot glue because I'm out of hot glue sticks but I'm gonna use hot glue to um adhere it here I think I'll just use dry moss and then once the hot glue dries, I'll just wet it. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of sick of this not looking the way that I want it to, so I'd like to finish it like today. Look at the mess I have to clean up. This is, uh, I don't wanna talk about it. <gasps> okay, so the next thing I'm doing is I have these three baby plants. These are, this one's dead, not dead. There's no leaves. Um, these are all, these have all been headaches for me. They're, this is my, I traded for this. This is my um, philodendron billetier. You know how those are supposed to look. I'm sure most of you know, if not, a lot of picture right here. And this is what mine looks like. You know what I mean? It's just not really growing. I can't figure out why. I've tried a different, a couple different environments. It just hasn't grown for me. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is chop and prop all of these plants, all three of these. Um, yeah, so hopefully if I start over, I don't know. I don't know what my thinking is. I'm just hoping that it'll work better the second time so that's what I'm going to do. Um, here's my Billetier. I'm going to chop. Here's my Adabapoensi that I'm going to chop. And here is a Milano Chrysum that I'm going to chop. Maybe this one will even be three cutting. Yeah. Yeah, this might be three cuttings. Yeah, um, but these are all not cheap plants, not exactly cheap, you know. So um, what we are going to be doing is we're gonna be propagating this the right way. So we're gonna um, use actual shears and not just kitchen scissors. And we're actually, this time, going to sanitize in between plants. Doing this the right way. So here we go. Okay, they're dry. So I'm gonna start with, should I start with the one? I'm most nervous about this Billy FTA, and I'll show you why. See, on these two plants, this is a node, 
this is a node, for those of you who don't know this. This right here is a node, and this right here is a node. Same with this one. This right here is a node, and this right here is a node. These, both of these plants, the nodes are about an inch to an inch and a half apart, which leaves me a lot of room to make the cut on this billetier. The internodal spacing is much shorter. You see, so this is a node and then this is a node and there's no space to make the cut because you risk cutting through the node and then that node is toast. Or um, if this rots at all, the nodes are gonna be dead. Um, because there's no, there's no leeway, like there's no, there's no extra space for me to get away with a little bit of rot. So I think I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with this one because it's the most stressful. Yeah. So I think right here, between here and here is where I'm going to make the cut. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we go. Let me just make sure that I'm not gonna cut, but I'm definitely not gonna cut through a, a node. Okay, okay. Uh, we did it! <sighs> okay. So there are already roots on this, so what I might do is just let this, just let where I made the cut callus over real quick. And then just put this right into soil. I think I'm going to do that. This one is going to be a prop box project. Okay, on to the next one. Hmm, this one I'm a little bit less sure about. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna cut it right here. There we go, done. Um, this one, we are going to cut her maybe here. Yeah, okay, so this, the bottom cutting, I'm gonna pot up on this right away because, and then just put like a plastic bag over it. This is. I'm going to put a plastic bag over it for humidity because there is, if you see that bump here, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus. Wait, what if I do this? Whatever. Whatever. I never promised you great quality. Okay, so um, anyway, that is a new growth point. So um, if I treat that really nicely it'll start to grow. So I'm gonna cut right above, not right above, a little bit above there. So that's the bottom cutting. And then I'm gonna cut this right in between here. There we go. So I have three what will be Milano Chrysums, two Adabacoensi, and two Philodendron Billetier. I started with one of each. So if we look at it that way, no, I don't really have the plants anymore because they're propagations now, but when they grow, I'll have a lot of them. Okay, all I really have left to do on my to-do list is um, set up the new grow lights in the um, greenhouse cabinet, but they're still not here yet. So um, I think I'm just gonna take a little break. I am gonna have some tea, maybe watch TV, who knows, it's my weekend. I could just do nothing until I get the grow lights and then I'll keep doing stuff. See you then. All right, it's a couple hours later now. 
it's dark outside, which means it's like 3 p.m. I'm kidding, it's five. Um, anyway, my um, my new grow lights were just delivered. I got them right here. So I am going to set these up in here so that my lovely plants can have some lovely light. Okay. I'm gonna prop you up on a bong. I think I did it. Look how bright, look how bright these lights are. Like, look at, can you see that, the difference in this cabinet? Oh my God, it's so bright. Oh my God, it's so bright. Um, yeah, I mean, I still have some work to do. Um, I have to get more hot glue so that I can put more moss on the walls where there are gaps. But other than that, I think this is good. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna spray the moss in here so that I can get the humidity back up. And then I think we are golden. Before I finish this vlog, let me just show you really quickly what I repotted today. Um, they're not all right here. I started putting them back because I'm stupid. Anyway, um, anyway, here's my painted lady. One of my little painted lady propagations that I potted up today and I put it on a little stake. Um, I'm trying to get these, some of these climbing philodendrons climbing really early. Um, yeah, so I also repotted this philodendron pink princess. This plant is, it's whatever. I mean, this is the most beautiful leaf it's put out since I've had it. Um, and you know, it's beautiful, but it's as far as other people's pink princesses go, it's really not much to write home about. Anyway, this plant's cute. I'm not attached to it though. Um, yeah, maybe one day I'll, I, I want to grow it out a little bit longer and see if it, maybe, like, maybe it has good genes if I let it grow, right? Like, maybe it'll have really good variegation eventually if I keep letting it grow. So, I'm holding out hope for that. But right now, this plant is, like, nowhere near my top. Anyway, I also potted up some of my like more decrepit philodendron mycans plants together. I have a really pretty one 
next to the TV, but those ones have been like riding the struggle bus and it's two plants that I potted up together. They've both been struggling. So I figured I'd just let them ride the struggle bus in the same pot. What? I don't know. Anyway, next up is this Hoya macrophylla. I, I really like this plant. I think it's really beautiful. Um, yeah, but she needed a new pot, so she got one. So did these little Hoya linearis cuttings that I got in a trade. Um, my hu my hu <laughs> my Hoya pubicalyx splash got repotted. I'm not gonna take it out because <clears throat> there are so many vines, and the vines are so long that it's just a nightmare to try to take it off of the shelf because it gets tangled in all the other plants anyway so i repotted that one i repotted that guy there i'm not gonna tell you what it is if you know you know i repotted it um so that i won't have to disturb it later on if you know what i'm saying anyway um i repotted this cute mandula pothos I love this plant. I love it a lot. Don't get me wrong, but it is so overrated. So overrated. I saw people selling this for literally 10 times what I bought it for. I got this for $4 at Wegmans. I don't know. No shade, but anyway, um, I also repotted this little um, rescue. This is um, my what is it? Anthurium Silver Blush, um, and it's, it was struggling inside the cabinet in one of those smaller pouches, which is why I got rid of them, because they weren't really helpful for any plants. So um, yeah, I took it out of there. It did get some root rot in there, so I was um, rehabbing this in water for a while. And today, I figured she was, the roots were good enough for a new pot. They were growing really well. Um, and the last one, I think this is the last one I repotted today, is um, this girl also came out of the cabinet. She just wasn't loving it. Also had root rot issues. You know, I'm still learning. Um, I'm still learning. It was too, the, it didn't have enough space. It was too like wedged against the wall. Anyway, so I um, this is my Anthurium crystallinum. Took that girl out. Um, both of these anthuriums are in soil. I just added some moss around the top to help with humidity. Um, yeah, and I think that's all I repotted today. So I did that. I got the cabinet done. I did some propagating. I, um, yeah, I feel like I got a lot done today. So I think I'm going to say goodnight and leave it here. Um, thank you to anybody who did watch. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Um, I don't know. I have been feeling like I want to be more creative. I want to be creating more recently. So I, I do have plans for a few, um, upcoming videos. You know, I want to be making something. So I'm going to start, I'm going to be making stuff on YouTube. So it'll be there. If anybody wants to subscribe, you can watch it. Thanks for joining me. Have a great night. Oh, and wear a mask.